Bruh. Yes, okay, I, I have spilled maple syrup all down my t-shirt and I can't be bothered to wash it. Shut up. Hello everyone and welcome back to How Is Twitter Free episode 68. And um, <clears throat> do you know what that means? That means we're one episode away from 69. <laughs> Can we, um, please get a poggers in the chat? C can we get a poggers in the chat, please? But without further ado, prepare yourself for some epic tweets. Let's go. Bar XD, bro. What the- Hey, check out my new haircuts. Dude. <clears throat> Who broke your hearts? You did. Now release Sneak King 2. And if you don't understand what this means, <laughs> basically Burger King used to have their own Xbox game called Sneak King. Uh, asking my man to train me at the gym was a big mistake. This dude talking about, don't speak unless spoken to. You're in training camp. I will smack you around the face with this kettlebell. He ate all the jam. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> this dude laid out like he got smoked. <laughs> this little dog really thought he could eat all the jam and then act like he's just fresh out of a GTA 5 wasted screen. Struggle meals. <laughs> and attached, we have a few images here which clearly show a struggle meal. This sandwich, it looks shocking. Um, this is a regular sandwich. Dude, I'm not even joking. This sandwich actually looks really nice. How is this a struggle meal? I'm out here eating like tinned spaghetti hoops, bro. I'm in the airport eating a banana while this little white baby running around. He comes up to me and starts pointing at my banana. I look at this dude's mama and she say, Go ahead, it's okay, he can have some. Ma'am, if you don't come get your snotty nose ass baby from out my face. When you find out your daily lifestyle is actually called <clears throat> quarantine. 2020 sucks. It can't possibly get any worse. April. You should get a loudspeaker and play this on the roof at 3 a.m. <laughs> Been homeschooling a six-year-old and an eight-year-old for one hour and eleven minutes. Teachers deserve to make a billion dollars a year. Or a week. Just talked to a friend who said, I don't know if it's the quarantine or what, but my brother is looking more handsome lately. I really do worry about some of you. No matter how the world changes, my life stays the same. If Rona wiped everyone out and I was the last man on earth, would you want me lol? 58% answered no. <laughs> My dad just walked into the room looking sad as heck with his fists closed and said, I just realized my office plan is gonna die because he's working from home. <laughs> Someone please save this man's plant pot. <laughs> I can't look at his sad face any longer. This is my physics prof online class. <laughs> Lamau. Sarah, can I DM you? L. W. Sad day. Wow. Sorry, King. Lamau, go ahead. Let's go! W. 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 Dub. Just dubs in chat. This is why online school is the best school. You can just try and pick up the cute girl in the online class, and all you have to do is literally just type in the chat saying, Hey, what's up? Can can I DM you please, ma'am? Can I private message you? Whereas in real life, you actually have to deal with the consequences and like the pressure of approaching a cute girl in class. This is far easier. Just hit them up in the online DMs, and you've got no worries. And if it works, you get big dubs in the chat like this and all your boys go crazy. Yo, can we get a poggers in chat? It literally just looks like a Twitch chat. <laughs> just said soccer instead of football and these dudes pulled up on me. Oh, Muppets on Facebook thinking you're bad, mate. I lied with the last one of your birds. Bruh. One by one. This is probably the most liked tweet I've ever seen. And honestly, it makes sense considering most of us have to stay inside. Anyways, Jamie here tweets out quarantine day six with this video. 3 million likes, 46.4 million views. Let's check it out. Why are the media silent about cars being eaten by a giant monster? Who profits from the cover-up? The giant monster industrial complex. That's who. It truly is shocking how the media cannot be addressing the fact that we have this monster on the streets. Borrowed £10 from a girl I was dating, paid her back the same day. When it went sour, she told people she had financially supported me when I had no job. 
This man be taking out some fat loans from his ex-girlfriend. Day free without sports. <laughs> Bet on the weather. <laughs> Beat your local meteorologist, make money. Oh, God. This is what we do when we can't watch sports anymore, guys. We're now betting on the weather. Yes. Oh, man. I pray I never become this horny. Some legend just leaked OK Boomer Girl's nudes. Let's go! And some kid actually takes the bait and replies with this. Yo, it's not working. I just refreshed and it's still not there. It's just blank. Can you repost? Hello? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I think we may have just come across the horniest man on planet Earth. I'm tired of being a part of a major historical event. <laughs> Same. Day 6 of quarantine, C-section went smooth. The cuties are in great shape and mother is recovering. Wow, it's moments like these that really, really make me appreciate nurses and doctors. So incredible. Can we get a round of applause? <laughs> Airlines, $35 to put your bag on our plane. Airlines, $16 for bag of chips. Airlines, sorry, you want your legs to fit? $75. Airlines. Haha, <laughs> you have to fork over an extra $50 to choose the seat you already paid for? Airlines. Airlines. Oh no. Someone help us. We are out of monies. <laughs> Breaking news. Due to the recent outbreak, the Piston Cup has been cancelled. Yo. This is freaking ball poo. <laughs> Thank you, Doc Hudson, for your input on the matter. Thank you. My wife's boyfriend, who works at the Pentagon, says national lockdown coming tomorrow. <laughs> I'm glad your wife's boyfriend could help us out with that vital information. Wait, wife's boyfriend? What? The government is making us quarantine so they can change the batteries in the pigeons. <gasps> oh my god, conspiracy. So my mum bought a lamb for £20 so it doesn't get killed tomorrow and is planning to keep her in the garden with the dogs? Honestly, wish I could say I'm surprised, but it's very her. So she texts her mum saying, I'm in bed, you okay? And her mum says, FaceTime me please. I came into the bar to meet Carlos after work and just bought a baby lamb that was going to get ended tomorrow. Only eight days old. This is a proud moment for humankind. Wow. <laughs> Look how cute it is, dude. When I had surgery, I assumed that when they were giving me aesthetic, that they'd count down from 10 like you see on the telly. But instead, a Czech nurse just looked down at me and said, Goodbye. And I was gone. I laugh every time I think about it. Spotify is the best relationship I've ever had. I'm like, hey, um, I didn't really like that song. And Spotify's like, my queen, I am so sorry for even suggesting that dreadful song. I will never make such a disgusting mistake again. Please forgive me and let me rub your feet. $5 a week has been coming out of my bank for months, and I only just realized I adopted a kangaroo named Poppy on New Year's Eve while I was destroyed. Money well spent, if you ask me. Next up, the queen of Twitch TV, Veronica V. Froggy, tweets out raw with this incredible picture. And you know, I had to respect this queen, okay? I just can't have a girl post a selfie on Twitter and not show my appreciation, you know what I mean? So I replied saying this, please mom, may I so kindly request to be allowed the honor of messaging you via personal DM so we can privately discuss how beautiful you are? And as you guys know, getting into the DMs of an e-girl queen on twitter.com is quite the challenge. So uh, big thanks to you guys who are replying with stuff like this, making me look like a chad. Thanks for driving me to my high school in your matte black Lambo, bro. Thank you, Fainted, for paying my whole college tuition. Hey, bro, I'll give you back your Lambo as soon as I can. Thank you so much for borrowing it. Hey, Fainted, I appreciate you coming to my family dinner last week and dropping me off in your Bugatti to my date. Real king. Wow. Isn't this just beautiful? Without you guys, I have no doubt we would have not taken this massive dub today. So, uh, yeah. Pogs, Pogs in chat, boys. Thank you. Simping is king, okay? You're a king if you're, or if you're not afraid to simp. And before you guys start calling me a simp in the freaking comments, look. It actually worked. Oh my god, guys. Pog is in chat. And you can see she messaged me saying, hee hee, I love you. And I said, I love you more, queen. And she even replied to my tweet with a love heart face. Guys, can we get a dub in the chat? Dude, I'm literally jealous. Oh, don't worry. 
She told me you're a really nice guy and a good friend. <laughs> Thick bucks, if you're watching this, I I'm I'm so sorry, bro. I, I didn't mean to steal your girl on Twitter.com. I'm so sorry. Bar XD, bro. What the? Okay, so next up, I wanted to show one of the cutest things I've ever seen since I've been on Twitter. And as you guys know, I obviously ask you to tag me in funny tweets on Twitter.com at Fainted Sad. But this subscriber in particular actually did something else to get my attention. He's been tweeting a picture of his dog at me every single day for the past nine days and counting in an attempt to get onto Howard's Twitter free. <laughs> Just look how cute this dude is. Day one of sending fainted pictures of my dog till he features me. Day two of sending fainted a picture of my dog. <laughs> Day three of sending a picture of my dog till fainted till he features me. Day four of sending a picture of my dog till fainted features me. And his dog is absolutely adorable. Oh my, he's so cute. Day maybe five of sending pictures fainted sad till he recognizes me unlike my father <laughs> oh no day six of adding fainted sad till he features Rika she's tired after a walk day seven of sending fainted a picture of my dog till he features Danny DeVito what Danny number eight of sending fainted a picture of my dog till he features my doggo <laughs> day nine of sending fainted a picture of my dog till he pets a dog dude this is just so wholesome Wow, I'm not used to this on Twitter. But um, yeah, I just thought this guy really deserved the feature, him and his cute dog. And yeah, if you are the guy who sent me these pictures and you're watching the video right now, I, I hope you feel epic because you are. Much love. Thank you. Thank you for the cute dog pics. Honestly, so cute. Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave it there for this episode. I really hope you did enjoy and I hope you guys are all staying safe and positive. I love you all so much and I'll see you on the next one. Have an absolutely amazing day, guys. Much love. Peace. And uh, go and watch another video if you want, I guess. <laughs> Click on the screen, bro.